I was preaching for a buddy on vacation. And uh, I, I always have to say to my wife, is this okay? Because she's, listen, God's the boss. But she, you listen, she's the second boss is right. 100%. 100%. And uh, she said, I feel like you're supposed to go. She actually was the one who said, you should go. So I went. I was preaching. And I looked at the pastor and I said, God's going to release resurrection power in your church. The moment I said that, a lady on the third row died. Died. It's not a good service. And you're like, oh, died. Like dead, dead. Not like, like maybe dead, no, dead, dead. Like the, the associate pastor is a, like a, a renowned doctor in Sylvan Lake. Uh, there's an ER nurse. They both rush over. Half the church freaking out. Half the church looking at me like I know what to do. Can I say this right now? Nobody knows what to do. You just kind of look like you know what to do. And inside, you're, you're, you're praying in tongues like Xena, warrior tongues. La, 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 la. <laughs> and uh, she's gone. Five minutes go by, 10 minutes go by, 15 minutes go by. Coloration's gone. Someone's like, someone needs to call a medic. So they call the medics. Again, everyone's looking at me. And God, I, I could hear the whisper of the Lord. You know what the Lord was like? So how you doing? <laughs> Not good, God! God's like, I've got this. Tell him to pray. This, we're going to see this in the church. If we're going to see the dead raised. You've got to get used to having some dead people in the church. Sounds logical. So we get to pray. Start releasing peace all of a sudden. Jesus, the Prince of Peace, shows up in the room. I can tell you this. It's the same peace I know that you will experience on the other side of eternity. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All of a sudden, the whole room goes quiet. And it was like, the presence of peace tapped me on the shoulder. I knew it. And I'm like, I'm done. This is your deal. And he walks over. You could feel it. The whole room. You could feel this presence of peace walking over to the third row. All of a sudden, on the third row, this lady that was dead for over 15, 20 minutes, all of a sudden goes, Ooh! and she comes back to life. Now, Try pastoring a service out of that. People lost their minds. People ran out the door. I mean, I've never seen so many shofars blown at the same time. It was crazy. It's like a horn honking contest, man. It's crazy. Flags being flown all over the place. So we brought the lady up. I was, I was like, we got to ask, like, what happened? And I said, what happened? She said, well, this is my first time at the church. If you're new, welcome. <laughs> she said, music was great. She said, you were a little loud. <laughs> Thank you. But she said, as I was watching you, all of a sudden, I, my body just started falling. And she's like, when I hit the floor, my spirit left my body. She said, I was traveling towards the gates of heaven. Oh, yeah, this is wild. This is wild. Oh, yeah. She said, as I was moving, I could see the gates of heaven. She said, I could still hear you guys pray. And she said, your prayers was like a hand that grabbed my spirit and sucked it back into my body. And she was a little bit, and I'll be honest with you, she was a little bit ornery. I said, what? I said, like, and she's like, like, you know, uh, and I'm here now. And she said it pretty aggressively. I'm like, are you okay? Like, I, I you know. I would be pretty thankful to be back. She's like, no, I'm a little bit frustrated. I said, why? She's like, you have no idea how beautiful heaven is. 